Now you must have learned charts of fruits, days of week when you were young, right? Yes. yes. We see boards of different pictures and their names in school. Such boards are called charts. Hmm. Now I will show an example of a chart. Okay. Now there are some boards which have small squares and there is some information written inside it. Okay. Yes. Look. Now this is also a board. You see here letters and in front some pictures. Here you can see a letter and right in front of it there are pictures of different things which begin with the same letter. Now this is called a chart. Now in this we can see the letters are written in horizontal manner and in, in front of each letter we can see the picture of a fruit or a thing. Now this is called as a board. Yes. yes. We can get an information easily by reading a chart. Why do you know? Do you know why is it like that? There are either columns or rows and squares in a chart. Some information is given inside it. Some information is highlighted by a color. It attracts our attention and can be easily remembered. As information is given in the squares, only important points are written which are easily understood. Now when you go to high school, you fill up your school bag every day. You put some books and notebooks, isn't it? Now while doing that, you see your timetable first. You see the day of the week in the table and you put your notebooks and books according to the subject taught on that day. Isn't it? Yes. For that, you should be able to read days, periods and subjects written in the boxes. Now, your timetable is one kind of chart only. So, you should be able to read the chart of your timetable. Now, I will show you the school timetable. Now, you should be able to read this. Now, see, the names of the days of the week are written in these rows horizontally and in columns vertically, names of the subject are written. Now, let's read the timetable and try analyzing it. Okay. Hmm. Now, tell me, on Thursday, when is maths periods? Now, we saw Thursday and started looking below it. Now, there you can find maths period. We understand on Thursday, Maths period is, let me see, 1, 2, 3, third period. Tell me, environmental science is on which days? Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday. Now see, which period is before Marathi period on Saturday? We have maths before Marathi. On Wednesday, at what time our physical education period starts? On Wednesday, physical education is between 10 to 10.30, means it starts at 10. On Monday, which subject is after computer? On Monday, we have maths after computer. Alright, now look at this bar chart. See, graph is also a type of chart. Now, we will learn how to make a chart. Okay, we will go outside from here and understand. Hmm? We will all be sitting by the roadside and we will be counting the number of vehicles which will be passing in front of us. Okay. Let us count number of vehicles from 1. When a vehicle passes from here, count its number and write in your notebook. Okay. Uh, uh, can you count number of cycles? Yes. Okay. Hmm. You count cars? Okay. Scooter? Mm, okay. Uh, can you count the buses? Yes. Okay. Who will count auto rickshaws? Should I measure? You will count that? Okay. Now count the number of vehicles when they pass by and note them in your notebook. Okay. Let's go. Now take a notebook with you and we will go outside. Let's go.
Let's go. So now everyone has noted down the number of vehicles. Yes, yes sir. Okay. So now let us make a chart. Okay. So then I'll draw a chart on the board. I'll write names of the vehicles. You tell me their count. Okay. Okay. Uh, who counted the number of cycles? Uh, how many of them? Nine. Okay. Who was counting cars? How many? Nineteen. 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 Okay. How many scooters? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Bus? Six. 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 And auto rickshaw? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Bye. Okay, yes. Now see, look at this. This is a chart. Now, let's read this chart. After reading this chart, so now in this chart, we have counted the number of different vehicles which passed by in last 15 minutes. Yes. Now, the name of the vehicles is on the left and the numbers are on the right. Bicycles, 9. Cars, 19. Scooters, 22. Buses, 6 and auto rickshaw 24. So now we have just read the name of the vehicles and its numbers, right? This is called as reading a chart. Sometimes in the same chart, instead of numbers, pictures are used. Such chart is called as pictographs. Pictograph means graph of pictures. Let's see an example of a pictograph, okay? Hmm. So now we have drawn a chart and this pictograph. Now in this we have written the type of the shop, the number of the shops and, and in the pictograph we have used stars to show the number of shops. So now see, there are 5 shops of food items, therefore 5 stars. Toy shops are 3, so there are 3 stars. 2 shops of clothes, so 2 stars. And there are 5 other types of shops, so there are 5 stars for that. So this is a pictograph. Now tell me, have you seen some timetables? I mean, we have seen railway timetable or bus timetable, right? But we should be able to read and understand these timetables. From that only we get the information like time of departure of a bus or train, the time to reach the destination or the stations or stops in between on the way. You understand, right? But why must we understand this? If we are able to read and understand the timetable, then only we can book a ticket of a desired and most suitable bus or train. And then only we will be able to reach the stations before the departure of the bus or train. Correct? Yes. There is a timetable made for the school examinations also. Means which subject is tested on which date is mentioned in it. Which teacher is going to which class. What time is the bell ringing. Everything is mentioned in that chart. Isn't it true? Yes. Now when charts and timetables are made, we can complete our work without any fault and on time. Correct? So, these charts are important in our daily life like this. Have you followed? So, now you can also prepare charts, right? Okay, then let's make charts in our copies also. What did we learn? The boards which give us information written in rows and columns or squares are called charts. These charts are read horizontally or vertically. Timetable is a type of a chart. When pictures are drawn in a chart instead of numbers, such charts are called as pictograph, means a graph of pictures. We are able to book a ticket of a desired bus or train if we are able to read the timetable. We will be able to reach to a station before the departure of that train or bus. Timetable helps us to complete our task methodically and smoothly without any mistake. Do this activity. What will happen? The departure time of bus to Dapoli was 4 o'clock. Radha did not read the timetable. She left her home at 4 o'clock to catch a bus to Dapoli. Wajid filled his school bag according to the timetable. Nurse came to hospital according to the timetable. 
घंटा गाड़ी डिड नॉट कम एट द राइट टाइम रेलवे टाइम टेबल वॉज नॉट फॉलोड बाई ट्रेन्स प्रिपेयर अ टाइम टेबल फॉर योर सेल्फ फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन